and introduce yourself and get started. My name is Douglas Myers, and I'm head number three. And it showed me a graph, and I want to know if it is continuous. Graph. Number three in which section? 2.5. And I put continuous. Yeah, it's, uh, is, if that, I don't have the problem memorized, but if that's all the graph is, this is continuous everywhere. Okay. You might have asked if it was continuous at a point. It was negative one and three, and negative one has that point, negative three has that point. Okay, so I think the, this isn't a distinction I ever cared hugely about. I suspect that if you check the back of the textbook, the author would say, well, it can't be continuous at negative one because the two sided limit doesn't exist at negative one. So at that point, it can only be a right continuous. It's just asking the continuous on the interval that you're Oh, if it's asking if it's continuous on the interval, we wouldn't make that distinction. For continuity at intervals, you just use that and write continuity at the end point, and this is correct. There are no jumps or asymptotes or anything that would cause this to be discontinuous. Is that the only you have anything else to do? Two problems. Okay, I'm going to.